Hi guys, it's Angel here from Angel's Art, and today we're going to be testing out the Royal and Lay Nickel Drawing Art Set. It has 50 pieces, and we're just going to go, we're not going to talk that much in the intro, so let's just get right into it. So here it is, guys. Where I got, I forgot to mention in the intro, I got it for $9.99 at my local store. So, let's just open this. So, the first thing you notice, it th this nice little tin it comes with. You can just put all your art stuff in here and not worry about it later. Okay. What mess are we going to get into today? So, first thing is this number two tortillion. Really small one, but it's okay. Here are all your colored pencils. Um, I guess there's some variety of colors, but. And then these, which I've never tried out. These are like color sticks. So we're gonna see how those test. We have a pencil sharpener, a kneadable eraser, and a sanding block so and then this opens up right here and under is your it has an artist guide and it tells you how to use everything how to blend and also it comes with a little tiny drawing pad See how tiny it is. This is my hand. This is the pad. So, yeah. We're going to test the paper. We're going to test all of this. So, let's just test. Okay, guys. So, what I just learned about this drawing pad, it's not really a pad. It's just sheets of paper. But let's see how thick or thin the paper is. It doesn't say on the cover how many pounds it is. So we're just gonna have to test this. Um, it's average. I mean, you can get definitely way thicker paper than this. This is basically printer paper. So guys, here we have one sheet of paper and we're gonna test these color sticks as they call them. We're just gonna get this cause I like this color. It's like sky blue. So we're just gonna do a swatch. Okay. There's pigment, but it's definitely very scratchy, as you can see. It's very scratchy. So we're just gonna swatch every one, and I'll see you when we're done. So these are all the swatches finished. We have a uh, light blue, dark blue, these greens. We only have one yellow, one orange, one red, one purple one brown and a black and there's also um a white one but we're not going to test that one because why would we okay so this is the sharpener that came with the kit it's very <sighs> how do i put this into words it feels cheap <laughs> But it doesn't matter how it feels, it matters how it works. So, next we have this kneadable eraser that also came with the kit. And we're gonna see how easy it is to knead. We're gonna see how easy it is to knead. So, first thing, it is wrapped, so it's not just. Lucy goosey in the box. So here the kneadable eraser is. Okay. 
okay, so we're gonna unwrap it. <laughs> okay, so here it is, guys, unwrapped, and we're gonna see how easy it is to knead. Okay, um, it's soft at first until you fold it and start to knead it. It's kind of tough, but it's okay. We can get through it. We are strong human beings to get through a strong kneadable eraser. Okay, so guys, here is the sanding block. Uh, so basically what you do with it is you're gonna take a graphite pencil or a colored pencil and all you want to do is rub the pencil against it against the sanding block and it will get more sharp or bright in it so yeah I'm gonna definitely be using this for my graphite and colored pencils mm. by the way I need a brand new break. break. So now it's time to swatch the colored pencils. So we're just gonna go in order. We got our yellow colored pencil. And as you see, it says royal colored pencil. Okay, let me just fix my tripod really quick. <laughs> and then let's use our well we're gonna test without the sanding block and with the sanding block for we're gonna go bolder to lighter as we go okay she's not bad let's do her <laughs> let's rub her on the sanding block and let's see Let's see if she'll brighten or if she'll sharpen. Okay. <laughs> it probably just sharpened it. Okay. Time for orange time. Okay, we're swatching the orange. Okay, I mean, compared to reviews online, this product, it's, it's very good. I mean, she has pigment, and you can go from dark to light. Um, and that's all I have to say about them. So, I'm done reviewing this nice little hit, and I think I rate it. A seven and a half out of 10. Because, I mean, um, the, the Tortillion, didn't really blend my colored pencils that was as I would like it to. Um, they're a little bit scratchy. So are these. These are more scratchy than the colored pencils that set their cells. These color sticks, they're just, I don't know how to put it. They're a little bit scratchy. Yeah, they're So I think seven and a half out of ten is a solid rating. So bye.